how to operate the tri-state buffer on tri-state inverter in VLSI circuit. So what is tri-state? Tri-state in the sense that we have a two inputs. One input is a primary input and another one input is a controlling input. When the control signal equal to 1, the input value is transferred to output side. It's like a transmission gate. But here, we have a two controlling signals. So, one is the enable and another one is the enable bar. So, this circuit is suitable for tri-state buffer and also tri-state inverter circuit. Now, I am going to draw the symbol of tri-state buffer. So, it's a basic symbol for tri-state buffer. So, here, A is the input and Y is the output, C is the control signal, control signal or enable signal. So whenever the enable signal equal to 1, this device is turn on, the tri-state buffer is turn on, this A value is connect to output, Y equal to A. So it is a basic operation of tri-state buffer. So tri-state inverter in the sense, so it's a symbol of a tri-state inverter, A and Y. A is the input, Y is the output. Controlling input is enable. So whenever enable value equal to 1, the A value is transferred to output. How this value is transfer? Complement of A value. So Y equal to A bar. Now A value equal to 0, output of this tri-state inverter is 1. A value 1, the output of tri-state inverter is 0. So it's a basic symbol of a tri-state inverter. So the two table for tri-state buffer. So enable and enable bar. So it's a controlling input. A is the primary input. Y is the output of tri-state buffer. So the tri-state buffer only turn on when enable value equal to 1. So in first case, enable value is 0, enable bar value is 1. The input of the tri-state buffer is 0. So in this case, the device is turn off because enable value is 0. So output of tri-state bu buffer is Z. So Z represents for high impedance state. Then enable value is 0, enable bar value 1. In this case, input is A. The corresponding output is Z because enable value is 0, the device is turn off. Now enable value 1, enable bar value 0, in this case the device is turn on. Whatever value present in A, the content is transferred to output. So now output is 0. Then 1 slash 0. Now also the tri-state buffer is enable, A value is 1, the output of tri-state buffer is 1. So it's a simple truth table for tri-state buffer. So now I am going to explain tri-state inverter. Tri-state inverter. So it's a basic symbol of a tri-state inverter. A is the input and Y is the output. Then here enable bar and enable. So these two signals of controlling inputs. When enable value equal to 1, y equal to a bar. So complement of a value. Now a value is 0, output is 1. a value is 1, output is 0. So it's a basic operation of a tri-state inverter. I draw the CMOS logic circuit for a tri-state inverter. So in this structure, we have a two PMOS transistor and two MOS transistor. So transistor P1 and P4 so these two transistors are connected to primary input. So primary input is A. A is connected to T1 and T4. T2 and T3 represent controlling signal. Enable bar and enable. So it's a basic structure of a 
tri-state inverter. So T1 transistor connect to VDD and this one connect to VSS. The same structure are convert into switch format. So it's a PMOS transistor. Then it's one switch. It's another switch. Then NMOS transistor. So VDD on VSS. The transistor T1 and T4 connect to primary inputs. So when enable value equal to 0. So when enable value equal to 0, this T2 transistor and T3 transistor, both the transistors of turn off because enable value equal to 0. So enable bar value equal to 1. So this 1 is given to input of this PMOS transistor. This 0 is given to input of MOS transistor. So in this case, both the transistor T2 and T3, both the transistors of turn off. Both the transistors of turn off. So there is no output voltage we can get. So output voltage is high impedance state. So it's a first case. When enable value equal to 0, T2 and T3 transistors of turn off. It's a open circuit. So open circuit in the sense the output Y equal to Z bar. Then come to the next case. When enable value equal to 1. So when enable value equal to 1, here enable value equal to 1, enable bar equal to 0. So this 0 is transferred to T2, this 1 is transferred to T3. In this case, both the transistor T2 and T3, both the transistors of turn on. Now I draw the structure. So it's a PMOS transistor that namely called as T1. In this case, both the switches of turn off. This one is VSS, this one is VDD. You can get the output from here. So input is A. In this case, both the transistors of turn on. So conceptually, when enable value equal to 1, so these two transistors are turn on, conceptually, these transistors are removed. So these two transistors are removed. It looks like normal inverter circuit. So after removing these two transistors, this structure is look like a normal inverter circuit. So A value is 0. In this case, the T1 transistor turn on. This transistor goes to turn off. So VDD is directly connected to output. So now output value is 1. Another case, A value is 1, the T1 transistor of this transistor turn on. So it's connected to ground, there is no voltage transferred to VDD, sorry VDD to output. Now output value is 0. So it's a normal operation of a tri-state inverter. So first you draw the tri-state inverter circuit in CMOS logic. We have a 2 PMOS transistor, 2 NMOS transistor. So this transistor T1 and T4 connect to primary input, T2 and T3 connect to enable. When enable value equal to 0, these two transistors of turn off. So there is no voltage transfer to output side. So output value equal to high impedance state. Then next case, when enable value equal to 1, these two transistors of turn on. Conceptually, these two transistors are removed. This structure looks like a CMOS inverter. So A value is 0, output is 1. A value 1, output is 0. This is the basic concept of a tri-state inverter and tri-state buffer. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thank you.